1200 plus website projects for my clients. Even I have done more than 100 plus jobs on a freelancing marketplace with 5 star ratings. And in this tutorial I will show you the exact way how I have been creating my clients websites. So you are basically learning from a real professional web developer. I'm really excited. If you're excited like me, please give this video a big thumbs up. This is the only thing I want from you. Other than that, this video is completely free for you. Let's now have a look at what we're going to make in this tutorial. First of all, I will show you how to create this type of amazing hero banner area, how to work with these headings, also how to style the headings very creatively like this. I will also show you how to create this type of inner forms and all other creative areas. Also, if you have a look, you see there are some floating images or icons here around. I will show you how to create this type of creating floating or moving animations. Next, I will show you how to create this type of curves or hover effects that will give your website really a premium feel. Then let's scroll down. I will show you how to design these type of layouts by using Elementor Flex container. And then I will show you how to create this type of creative areas or creative layouts. Also, I will show you how to make this type of hover effects. And then I will show you how to create this type of animated counters, how to embed videos within the website. Also, if you click over this video icon, you see the video is appearing within this beautiful pop-up or light box. All right, let's close it. Then I will show you how to create this type of custom image carousel. And you see, instead of the boring left and right arrows, I have created a custom bottom arrows like this. Then let's scroll down here. I will show you how to create this type of creative call to action areas and how to make these creative buttons with hover effects. And then I will show you how to create this type of creative pricing tables. Here you can also see the beautiful hover effects like this. And then I will also show you how to create this type of creative toggle bar so you can switch in between monthly and yearly pricing. Next, I will show you how to create this type of testimonial carousel like this. And then I will show you how to create these clean small cards by using Elementor Flexbox. And finally, I will of course show you how to create this type of complex footer layout by using Elementor Page Builder. Then at the right bottom corner, you see there is a top arrow icon. So if you just click on this icon, that will take you to the top of the website. And the interesting thing is initially you cannot see the go to top button here in this place. But if you scroll down a few portion of the website, you see the go to top button is appearing here. So I will of course show you how to make this type of functional go to top button. Then I will show you how to create a transparent header like this. So you can put your logo, your special button and navigation menus. So initially it's a transparent header. But if you scroll down your page a little bit, you see the header got sticky and its background color is now completely white. Then if you go to the top again, you see the header is becoming transparent. Finally, I will show you how to make any website 100% responsive for mobile and tablet devices. All the hidden techniques in Elementor Flex container, everything in detail step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're now inside WordPress admin panel or WordPress dashboard. This is a completely fresh WordPress install. I have just done two things here. So first of all, if I go to appearance to themes, you see I have just installed and activated the Hello Elementor theme. And then from plugins, if I go to installed plugins, you see I have installed here just Elementor and Elementor Pro plugins. By the way, Elementor Pro is not mandatory in this tutorial because I have just done 5 to 10% of this landing page or this website by using Elementor Pro. But I highly recommend you to have Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, I will put Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. But let's say if you don't want to purchase Elementor Pro at all, still you can watch this tutorial because you will get a lot of value inside of this tutorial for your design career. All right, now, first of all, I just want to do an Elementor setting. So for that from left, hover over on Elementor from there, let's go to settings. Because in this tutorial, my main goal is to show you how to work with Elementor Flex container. That's completely new technology. So to enable the Elementor Flex container from under experiments, go under experiments. From here, let's scroll down. It says Flex container. You see right now it's under beta. That's why actually we need to manually activate it. So from here, I'm making it active. Let's scroll down and click on save changes. 
all right now i want to create a new page so from left hover over on pages from there click on add new now here i just want to give this page's name to awesome landing page let's from right top corner click on publish click on publish one more time and now i want to edit this page by using elementor page builder so from top click on edit with elementor all right so we're now inside elementor page builder and here everything is self-explanatory actually so on the left everything we can see all these are elementor elements or elementor widgets and on the right side this is our canvas so the main thing is we will be dragging these elements or widgets from left side to the right side then we will design the things like we will be changing the colors we will be increasing or decreasing the font sizes like that but before doing any other thing first of all i want to do a basic settings so let's go to the very bottom left corner and click on this gear icon because first of all i just want to set the page layout to elementor canvas so now we can no longer see the header and footer that was basically coming from the theme and i actually don't want you to distract by those header and footer I want to do the complete thing just by using Elementor Page Builder. All right, now here's the fun part begin. Now, let me show you first. Here at the left side, we can see this is the heading element or heading widget. So if I want to use this heading widget on our website or on this right canvas, what we can do, we can just drag this heading widget from left side to the right side here like this. And you know, if you want to change the text, you can change the text from this place. But before that, I want to add some more elements or widgets here within the canvas. So from top, click on this Rubik's Cube icon. And here underneath this heading, I want to add a text editor. Okay. So let's just drag this text editor to the canvas here. And underneath that, actually, I want to add some more elements. So click on the Rubik's Cube icon. From here, I'm dragging the button widget here on the right side then underneath let's add another widget so click on the rubik's cube icon and from here you know you actually search the widget from here so here i'm searching for icon box so here it is let's drag this icon box to the right side here in this place by the way don't get confused because i'm not creating the real website at this moment i have dragged all these elements from left to the right side only to give you some example you already have got the basic idea if you want to drag an element from left to right side, all you need to do, you just need to click on this Rubik's Cube icon. Then you can drag your essential element from left side to the right side within the canvas. And then let's say if you want to change the color of this heading, just click over this heading. You can go under its style tab. Then from here, you can change this text color to any other color by using this color picker. And same thing goes with all other elements. Let's say if you want to change the design of this paragraph, just click over that, then go under its style tab. From here, you can change the text color. If you want to change the size or typography of this paragraph, just from here, click on this pencil icon. And from here, you can change the font family. You can change the font size, font weight, all other things from this place. But now, before doing any other thing, I want to introduce you with the global settings. First, let me tell you why global settings is so important to know at the very first. Let's say in your page or your whole website, you have tens or one hundreds of headings and you have made all the headings color red. Then let's say one or two weeks later, you decided you need to change all the red color headings to blue color. Then what you will do, you can change all the colors one by one from red to blue color. But if you set that red color as the global color, then you don't need to change all the headings color. I mean, hundreds of headings color one by one from blue to red. Or red to blue you can change the red color from one place then hundreds of your headings get the blue color from the same place so that's the power of global settings and you can not only set the global color if you want you can also set the global font global typography everything I'm showing you everything step by step 
but when you want to work with the global settings the very first thing you need to do okay the first thing here i'm just clicking on this green update button because i don't want to lose any of this at this moment let's just keep it like this and i want to go back to our wordpress dashboard and to do it from here click on this hamburger icon and from here click on exit and yep the setting it says if i want to go back to this post yep no problem so click here on apply click on leave and by the way i cannot see the left bar from left side if i want to enable the left side bar so from top right corner click on this vertical three dots from here i'm just disabling the full screen mode from this place now i can see all the left menus here okay so the settings i wanted to do from the elementor let's go to settings like i said i wanna do all the global settings from inside elementor so for that reason from here i'm disabling these global colors and fonts i mean i just wanna disable these default colors and fonts so let's check it also check it and click on save changes all right now we can go back inside elementor and you know we can just go to pages to all pages here is our awesome landing page and when you hover over here it says edit with elementor let's click there and this time i just want to open it from a new tab so anytime if i need to go back to wordpress dashboard i can do that from this place and here on the new tab elementor has opened okay so now to set the global settings from left top corner click on this hamburger icon and from here click on site settings now the first settings i want to do i want to set the global typography so click on this typography and from here from inside this body typography i want to change the global font so from here let's click on this pencil icon and here from here i'm opening the font family you can see here tons of font families all these are google fonts from here for example if i select this font globally you see all the fonts has been changed here instantly so you can understand all the fonts are basically coming from this place so here instead of this font family i just wanna set the roboto family so here i'm searching for roboto here we go let's select roboto then actually i don't wanna do any other thing with the global typography just the font family i'm okay with that now let's click outside and go back now i wanna set global colors so to set the global colors first of all let's click here on global colors by default we can see some colors here but actually i won't be using any of these so instead of primary i wanna change its name so just click here and i wanna name it black main so here i'm typing black main it would be our main black color and the color code would be hash 0e1133 then here um, i'm just renaming this color instead of secondary i'm naming it black light so it would be also black but lighter than the main black color and the color code would be hash 505056 then the third color actually here i want to use a gray color so here i'm naming it gray and the color code would be hash e7 e a e f and then here i want to use our brand color so instead of accent i just want to make it really easy to remember so here i'm just naming it brand color and the color code would be hash e e f one f six and not only these four colors i want to add one more color so to do it from here just click on add color and i want to name it as white background and in short we can name it white bg and the color code would be hash actually i want to make this white bg color to hash eef1f6 and the brand color instead of this gray or whitish color i want to change it to hash ff three e six six so you can call it kind of reddish pink color all right now to save these colors from bottom click on this update button and then from top let's go back and this time i just wanna set the colors globally within the typography so this time go inside typography 
now here you see if you want you can select the global body color from here by using this color picker like this but instead of that as we have already set the global colors from the color palette for that reason i'm just clicking here on this custom global icon and for the global body text color i'm selecting black light color you see all these paragraph text are getting the light black color from this global body color then here is the option for global links color so for the global link color i'm i'm just setting the color to the black light color you see the button text color has been changed to the light black color also i want to change the links hover color so let's go under hover state from here on hover i'm just changing its color to our brand color so let's select the brand color now have a look on this button text if i just hover over on it it's getting the global brand color so it's simple like that now let's scroll down i don't want to set h1 because i won't be using h1 inside of our website but here h2 and 3 of course i want to change its global color so on h2 i'm setting its global color to black main also for the h3 i'm setting the global color to h i mean for h3 i'm setting the global color to main black color and then for the h4 i'm just setting the color to the brand color you will get the reason why i'm doing it so for now just follow whatever i'm doing here you will understand everything properly later while we will be creating the main website all right now to save all the settings again click here on this update button and then from left top click on this back icon now i want to do some more global settings so from here let's now go inside layout because in flexbox elementor by default adds 10 pixel of padding with all containers and that's really super annoying for me so i'm disabling that default padding from here so i'm setting the default padding to zero pixel also let's save it by clicking on this update now let's go back and from the global settings i just wanna do one last thing i wanna set up the design for the buttons for the all buttons so to set up the global button settings from here let's click on buttons so here with the button very first thing i just want to go inside the typography and from here i'm making its font size to 15 pixel and also i'm making the font weight to 500 you can see the change immediately here within this button then from here i just want to set the main text color from here so the text color would be the black main color from the global colors and this color this is basically the background color of this button so i want to set it as white so i'm dragging this color picker color to the white like this then from here let's set the border type to solid and i want to add oops not none i want to set the border type to solid and here i'm adding border width to one pixel or we can make it two then from here i want to set this border color so from the global color let's select the gray color then from here i want to set the border radius border radius actually the corners so if i want to make the corners more rounded i want to increase the actually i need to increase the border radius value inside of this field so from here i'm making the border radius value to third pixel you see the corners are more rounded here on this button then here is the padding option so padding is basically the inner space of this button so here if i set the padding value to 30 you see 30 pixel space has been added all around within this button but here i wanna do make some change so first of all let's click here to unlink them so i'm clicking here now let's click the right and left value to 30 but the top and bottom value instead of 30 i'm making them 15 also 15 on the bottom like this so the button is looking great at this moment but we need to do a little bit of work on hover so if i want to change something on hover from here let's click on the hover state so on the hover i'm making the text color to white color from the color picker then the background color i'm changing it to the brand color 
also the border color so from here border type i'm again selecting it to solid then width to two pixel then the color i'm also changing it to brand color so at this moment if i hover over on this button you see the background and border color has become the brand color and the text color is now white color so if now we need to create 10 or 20 buttons within our website we don't need to do that manually all these settings will be applied on all the buttons we will have in our website how cool is that all right now if you want to change the setting you know you just need to click here on this update button so now i just wanna go back to the main panel so from here click on x but before we start creating the real website i just wanna show you some handy stuff so from the left top corner let's click on this hamburger icon if i click on user preferences so from under the preferences here you see it's ui theme so by default it's white but i'm setting it to dark because i personally love dark themes and then this is the panel width the panel is this left bar so if you want to increase the size you can increase it like this by dragging this to the right side but i just want to keep it to the default 300 pixel like this then from here i just want to turn on the editing handles because at this moment you see if you want to change anything with any elements or widgets you just need to click on this blue pencil icon or you need to right click here to find all their available options but from the left sidebar let's click on the hamburger icon again from here go to user preferences if i enable the editing handles from this place just have a look now if i now just hover over on this blue pencil icon i can see some handy options here like duplicating or deleting the elements here so actually that's super handy and it will make our workflow super faster all right then the next thing here is the responsive preview and by default the hidden element option is shown but sometimes it annoys me so here i'm just hiding it but if you want you can keep it show and here exit to yep i just wanna check this option actually it doesn't matter but i'm just keeping it this post now i just want to delete all of this dummy content so let's click on this x also click on this x and this x let's delete this x i mean let's delete it by clicking on this x as well so this is a completely empty canvas for now click on this green update button to save our empty canvas so here now i want to create our hero banner first so click here on this rubik's cube icon so we can see all the available elements here on the left side but now instead of just dragging this element from left side to right side first of all actually i just wanna make a skeleton within our canvas so to create the skeleton or this structure first of all we need to click on this red plus icon and here you will find a lot of available structures so first of all i'm selecting this structure the first one let's select it and don't get confused with all these available options i will explain everything step by step so for the moment let's just scroll down and from here open the additional options and for this section or for this container i'm making the overflow option to hidden just stay with me follow whatever i'm doing i will explain it later why i have given the overflow value to hidden let's now open the container from here so for this container all this default value is fine now let's just go under the style tab or before moving to the styles let's go back to the layout because here temporarily i just wanna give a minimum height so from here instead of pixel i'm setting it viewport height it's vh so let's select it and let's drag it to the maximum value so it will cover 100 viewport height now we will be doing everything within this 100 vh height or instead of 100 if i make it to 70 vh you will understand it properly what's happening inside here again this is just a temporary height i'll remove it later now before going to style tab let's go under advanced tab because i want to make you understand the spacing first so here let's say if you wanna add some breathing space 
within this container you can add that from here by using the padding so from here if i set the padding value to 100 you see 100 pixel of padding has been added to the top bottom left and right but i want to apply different value to the different sides so you already know we just need to unlink it first by clicking here and at the bottom i want to add 200 pixel of padding like this then at the left and right instead of 100 i'm just adding 15 pixel of padding all right let's now go under the style tab from here if you wanna add any solid color background you can do that from here from the background type let's click on this pencil icon from here let's see if you wanna change it to any other color for example red or you can drag this color wheel from here so if you wanna make it blue or black or white you can do that but I don't want to use any solid color so to revert it just click here on this clear button instead I want to use the global color that we already have set so from here click on this globe icon and for this area I want to use this global BG or global background color from here you see it's kinda of white color then along with the background color i also wanna use a background image so to use the background image from here let's click on this choose image button or this plus icon now by clicking on this select files button you can upload images from your computer so from here i'm clicking on select files let's go inside images folder and for the background image let's select this hero image now click on open it's already uploaded by the way if you want to use all the images that i'm using in this tutorial you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down a bit here under important links it says download the images i have used in this tutorial just click there and you will get all the images that i'm using in this particular tutorial all right let's now go inside elementor page builder now from here let's just make sure you have selected the right image now from here click on insert media so here we can see the background image but i just wanna adjust its position so from here you can play with the position so if you want you can set it to sender sender or if you want you can set it to top sender there are lots of options available you can play around all of them but for this one i'm selecting bottom right then if you notice you see this image is repeating here at the top right or at the left bottom side so i don't want that for the reason from here i'm making the repeat to no repeat then here's the size option let's open it if you want you can make it cover or you can make it contain also there are lots more option actually i want to set it as a custom size so instead of 100 I just wanna placing at this point so 58% is looking perfect for me all right now within this container I wanna add some content or elements so you know from here let's click on this Rubik's cube icon first of all I just wanna drag a heading widget so let's drag this heading widget from left side to the right side here now if you want to change the text you can change that from here just by triple clicking here and you can change the text from this place or from the left side just remove the text and here I want it to say foreign day free. Now let's see if you want to make the alignment to centered you can do that from here or right aligned like this but I just want to keep it default so I'm removing right so by default it's going to the left side. Now if you want to do any styling with it go under the style tab from here the first thing i want to do i want to change its color but you may remember i have set the global